In this video, we'll answer the four most common questions to pass your Excel interview test and surely get you that job offer. So in case you want to test yourself, you can download this Excel file for free in the description. Question one, highlight in red the 10 lowest orders. Questions like this will tell the hiring manager whether or not you know conditional formatting. Now you don't have to create a new rule every single time. Here it's smarter to use the default rule of bottom 10 items. And as you can see, it highlighted the 10 lowest orders. So you get the approval of your hiring manager and that's Q1 done. Question two, Fill orange area using a formula that can be copied down to accept or reject a project based on the minimum requirements. Perfect. So in this type of question, the hiring manager wants to know how you think logically. So there are a lot of formula combinations in Excel that can solve this question. And today I am going to show you two of them. First, you can use the if and function. Here will indicate that both of the criteria should be met in order for the project to be accepted. And since we want to be able to copy down this formula, let's lock the criteria cell by putting dollar sign in between, or you can just click F4. The second option is to use the if or function. Here will indicate that if either one of the criteria is not met, then the project is automatically rejected. And we get the same correct answer. Question three, find the number of shirts we need to sell to reach $5,000 in profit. This time, the hiring manager wants to measure your mathematical skills. So what we'll do is we will reverse the formula for profit P in such a way that the profit is $5,000, um, just like this one. So we'll reach exactly $5,000 in profit if we sell 579.88 units. Now, listen very carefully because this is the part where most of the applicants fail their test. This is a fraction, 579.88 shirts. The hiring manager would probably tell you, but we don't sell a fraction of shirts. So before you submit your answers, make sure to round up your answer first to a whole number. Last but not the least, visualize the monthly sales below to show trend. Since we want to show a trend, we can use a line chart. Hiring managers wants to hire an applicant who knows at least a basic visualization. So it's important that you'd be able to review in advance the different types of charts available in Excel and their respective purposes. To summarize, practice these four concepts to ace that Excel test. Thank you and best of luck.